So, you scrape up a couple bucks for gas, get in your car, do some roadside salvage, get a couple yard sales. Of course, it doesn't have to be in that order. Just, you know, I'm a spontaneous person when it comes to this type of thing. Look, look, it's the mega sale. <laughs> wow, I've waited years for this. Check this out, must have. Ooh, I'm seeing that being a guitar stand. Yeah, y'all. How much is this thing? Ooh, maybe they'll come down. Look at all those letters. <laughs> Easy, dude. Yeah, I could use these letters for my video, but. Right? How many F's are in this set? I don't know. Never mind, I can't use it. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> Wow, must have. Must okay, have. here here's my stuff. <laughs> those I think I'm friends, done. Those friends, do you need more? No, I don't need the friends. Little shoppies. Let's look at the more friends you buy, you have, <laughs> the more expensive Christmas is. I really don't need this. this All I'm true. interested in is this stuff right here. How okay. much is this? Okay, how much is this? Um. I think I want to deal with the man because he wants to get rid of the stuff so he doesn't have to carry it. And hey, are you going to be cheaper than her or what? Hey, I'm the cheapest. Well, no, she is the cheap one. <laughs> so you better stick I'm with the her. deal. Yeah, you probably. <laughs> okay, what do we got me. here? I want to get rid of. How about four bucks? Uh, really? Really, right now? Wow, I don't. I'm not sure I have enough gas money to get home, but we'll see. I think you okay. do. I think the bad thing about living in the greater Los Angeles area is there are literally millions of vehicles. The good part about living in greater Los Angeles is. There's millions of vehicles. Now those vehicles, a few of them decide to run into each other every day and leave parts of themselves on the side of the road. And that's where you come in at. One of the best place to collect medium for folk art is the side of the road, medium. That doesn't mean like a, like a, uh, I gotta pay attention here. It doesn't mean like a, a fortune teller. Anytime you get equipment yard that shuts down, oh yeah, I guarantee you there's all kinds of cool stuff in there. I don't want to give away too many of my secrets, but like right here, here's an intersection. People always, oh, I can make it, I can make it, and bam, right there. You see all that shiny stuff right there? Oh yeah, there's pieces of cars all over there. Another perfect place to collect road debris is where people got to make a high-speed turn like right here they're never paying attention either filming something or talking on their phone and they always end up down in there and there's parts of cars down in there constantly another perfect place to collect folk art medium is a place you less experienced artists might not think about and that's bingo the railroad crossing you ever race a train across the tracks? Hey, sometimes you make it, sometimes you don't. Some people say, dude, you're just out on the side of the road picking up trash. It's like, what are you talking about, man? I'm single-handedly saving the environment. Some people call that thing right there a dumpster. I call it an extra large treasure chest. I found some really nice cigar boxes in there, like this one. Of course, they were mine because my wife threw them in there when she thought I wasn't looking. But don't you worry, I got them out under the cover of darkness, so they're fine. They're going to be part of this project we're going to do starting right now. So anyway, after a while, you're going to end up with a box of stuff. There's all kinds of cool stuff in here. There's trim off of cars, there's canning lids, there's old coins, there's dice and old cone top cans and hubcaps and license plates. And you just start digging through here. Next thing you know, you'll come up with some ideas. Where's the inspiration come from? Well, today I guess it's out of five tins of popcorn or Christmas cookies or something. I dug through the matchbooks that are in there and found some Chevrolet matchbooks and then in my junk box here I got a knob from a, a door lock and a 
Anyway, there's some Chevy trim in here if you look around. And I think I'm going to make something out of Chevy junk road scrap. So I remember when I was a kid, Chevy had like the coolest colors like blue and aqua and, and stuff like that. So here's the next piece of the puzzle, this box here. All right, all done. There it is. So we got a guitar. That's no surprise, right? So we got a windshield wiper knob and a couple of bolts and a, a piece of trim off the side of the fender. Nobody's gonna miss that. And there's our there's our Chevy matchbooks. Yeah, and remember that thing we bought at the yard sale for part of a four dollar package deal. There it is works perfect priceless how priceless well let's see how priceless hit it rev So that's it um housekeeping as always middle round button subscribe it automatically you click on that you get automatic notifications of when i load up the next exciting video i don't know how i'm going to make another one after this one this is the pinnacle of everything um playlist uh, a video you might like see you next time